North Carolina. Mr. Meadows is recognized. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Horwitz, thank you. And for your entire team, some of which are Republicans, some of which are Democrats, some of which are unaffiliated, I thank you for your unbiased way that you conducted uh, this comprehensive report. And just uh, for the for the rest of the team at large that's probably back uh, at DOJ watching yeah. this. And, uh, and so I, I want to get right to the heart of the matter. One of the concerns I have when we look at bias in the, the analysis that you made at the very end, it is incumbent upon any team to make sure that they do the investigation without bias. And it's clear that Peter Strzok and Lisa Page had some bias. Is that correct? That's correct. And so if you were to learn that they had a disproportionate role in the investigation, both on this investigation and the Russia investigation, that would mean that their bias would have a disproportionate uh, contribution to that decision, would that not? Yeah, and I'm going to stick to this review since I know this one at this point, but yes, right, that would be a concern. So let me go further. You're the one that actually discovered the text message. That's correct. Your forensic team. Correct. So why would the FBI not have been able to find that? So... Um, Did they look? Well, well, the first batch yeah, we recovered but, in 2017, right. we found because we asked for text messages. All right, and so they produced them they to They produced them to us, All then right. we So the ones that you more. found forensically, Correct. Uh, why did they not find those? Um, if you didn't do the forensic work on the phones, you wouldn't have found the uh, so, text messages. So they really the just didn't look, is what you're saying. The Nobody FBI looked didn't look. beforehand, correct. So you looked, but they didn't look. They hadn't looked. So right. was it a lack of curiosity on their part? Um, I, I mean, because you're have the to one. Ask the FBI on that um, as to why they didn't. Well, but if they were effort. really serious about oversight and really serious with the the confines of these text messages, I think an investigator would want to know if they had bias within their own agency, right. wouldn't you? Um, yes, and I would just add, we've had those phones in our custody for probably about a year now or six months now. So uh, just to be clear, we've had them for the last six Since months. then. Well, you've done a lot more with them than they did, and I'll give you that. And so let me, I want to focus on what's not in the report, because as we look at what's not in the report, what's not in the report is, as you know, the intelligence community, uh, IG, actually was part of the uh, predication for this investigation. Is that correct? That's correct. They were so concerned that there might have been foreign infiltration into this that they went immediately to the FBI uh, to to let them know about that is I, that correct? I know they went to them. I don't know the. Sort yeah. of well, I, I talked to the IG and he he indicated that he went uh, literally that day, got in a car, went over and met, and so he was really concerned that there was uh, some anomalies in the metadata that would suggest right. that a foreign actor was getting copies of uh, potential emails. Are you aware of that? I, I am, and I've talked to him as well. Okay, and so if they are that concerned. Do you not find it curious that the FBI mm -hmm. investigators, Peter Strzok and his team, did not ever talk to them other than that initial meeting uh, where they did that? Would, would you think that part of an investigation would be to go back to the very people that brought up the accusation and say, what did you find? Yeah, I assume that would be what and, you would But that's feel. not in your report. That's correct. And, and they didn't do that, did they? I'd have to double check that. Yeah, well, I, I can I can tell you that the last time that they talked to him was when they did the referral to close it out after the Comey okay. incident. So wouldn't you find that curious that they wouldn't have looked any further? If they didn't, yes. All right, and so you can get back to the committee yes. on that. All right, so let me go on a little bit further. So if they didn't look and if we don't have that information, your staff indicated that indeed emails with at least some classified information did go to a, uh, a foreign entity or a third party. Yes, one of the individuals who was, a staff, was uh, on Secretary Clinton's staff, his email account, private email account, Gmail account, uh, was hacked. Right, and so, so let me look at four other things that I need you for some clarification, because yeah. there's some text messages. We know that Peter Strzok worked on both the Russia and the Hillary investigation, so I want to make sure that these text messages don't apply to Hillary. So on July the 29th, before the investigation into the Russia investigation started, there was a text message that says, do you want us to reach out to Gervais? Uh, and I think they're referring to Gervais Griggs mm -hmm. at that particular point. And they said, well, why do you want to do that? Well, we want to see if 
he actually has the names that we already have. Now, I'm troubled by this a little bit. Did that apply to the Hillary Clinton investigation? Um, it was already closed. It was already point. closed. I'd have to go back and double check. Okay, that. why I'm curious is why would they be checking with someone who his specialty is, quote, uh, FBI advanced electronic surveillance. Why would he be checking before a Russian investigation is open with somebody who does essentially bugging and monitoring to find out uh, anything that might have been going on? Why would that have happened? I don't know. Okay. Uh, so let me go on a little bit further then. Uh, the text message that says the White House is running this, mm -hmm. uh, which happened on August 5th. Was that in reference to Russia or Hillary Clinton? Our assumption and understanding was it was not Hillary Clinton's matter because that, that had been closed already. That's my assumption as well. And the one that says that the president wants to know everything about this that happened on September 2nd, was that with Hillary or with the Russia investigation? Our understanding is that would not have been Hillary, that would have been the Russia matter. Yeah. So. Looking at the difference between the way that the Hillary Clinton investigation was notified in research versus the way that it appears that the Russia investigation, did the administration, the previous administration, take an abnormal interest in all of that? The I gentleman's time has expired, Mr. Inspector General, but you may answer. Um, I don't know the answer to that at this point because that was not part of this review, but certainly it's something we, as we look at the matters that have been recently referred to us, we will be considering. I thank you. I yield back. The gentleman.